They cause traffic and disrupt business, and with 2,100 miles of pipeline on Oahu, water main breaks will always be with us. But the Board of Water Supply says progress is being made on the number of water main breaks we have to deal with. Tonight, KITV 4's Andrew Pereira goes in depth with the numbers. Andrew? Paula, water managers say they've come a long way in reducing the frequency of water main breaks over the past decade, but further gains may have to wait for the completion of a master plan. A water main break on Waialai Avenue causes a mess before the evening rush hour. Guests at the Kahala Hotel and Resort are left stranded after another water main cracks beneath Kahala Avenue. It's clear the delivery of H2O, or the lack thereof, has consequences. Water is the, the driver of our economy. You need a good water supply to be able to support the economic development. In the first half of this year, the number of water main breaks remained fairly consistent, a total of 161 through the end of June. Broken down, that's 0 0.89 water main breaks every day. Well, certainly one per day is too frequent for us. And so we're definitely looking forward at, uh, you know, M many maintenance improvements to get us to a, mu a much lower number than that. There were 331 water main breaks in 2010, 395 in 2009, and 319 in 2008. Big numbers, but still an improvement compared to a decade ago. At this point, the numbers have come down from 2002 which was uh, kind of a high, around 500 breaks a year. The Board of Water Supply is drafting a 30-year master plan at a cost of $9.5 million. Once finalized, BWS will have a better idea how to improve infrastructure. But it's a fine line between reducing the number of water main breaks and how much businesses and residents must pay. It's like having a balance in front of you and trying to see what is the appropriate balance. The Honolulu City Council has no say in setting of water rates, but five members of the BWS Board of Directors are appointed by the mayor and approved by the council. With water rates set to increase over the foreseeable future, council members are watching closely. Well, we're going to continue to monitor the situation very closely, and we're going to continue to keep the pressure on to make sure that the maintenance schedule and the master plan is such that there is a reduced number of water main breaks. That master plan is expected to be finished in about two years' time. Meanwhile, BWS is considering developing part of its property on South Baratania Street to raise revenue, which would help offset costs to ratepayers. Paula, back to you at the desk. All right.